Thanks for hitting play. It's Sunday afternoon, and here's what we're going to be making for you today. We're going to make some bow tie pasta with broccoli pesto. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients. You're going to need a half a cup of hazelnuts, two cups of broccoli flowerets, one and a half cups loosely packed parsley leaves, a quarter cup plus or minus two tablespoons of olive oil. You're going to need a half a cup of fresh mint leaves, four tablespoons of lemon juice and the zest, about a one and a half tablespoons. You're going to need the same one and a half tablespoons of capers rinsed and drained. You're also going to need five to six really nice garlic cloves and a package of bow tie pasta. To make the magic happen on the hardware side, you're going to need a spatula, you're going to need a slotted spoon, you're going to need a six quart pot with lid with water already started to go in it, and you're going to need a saute pan. You're going to need to toast the hazelnuts, so just take a, about that much of the olive oil and the pan, heat it up to you know, medium high heat. And we're going to go ahead and throw in your hazelnuts. And we're going to toast those up. You want to make sure that you are constantly stirring these hazelnuts so they don't burn. They don't take very long, about five to six minutes to get them toasted. Okay, now that they're, now that they've toasted up, go ahead and put them in a bowl and let them cool. Your water is now to a boil, so what you want to do is you want to salt the water and put in the broccoli. You only want to cook this for about two to three minutes. Now that the broccoli is done, we can go ahead and use our slotted spoon to pull it out of that boiling water. Okay, now you want to go ahead and rinse it off because you want to stop the cooking. So you use very cold water. Go ahead and hold on to that water that we uh, cooked the broccoli in because we're also going to cook our bow tie pasta in it and it will give it a little bit of flavor. Okay, now is a good time to go ahead and get that zest off of this lemon. By the way, we use lemons off of our trees that we grow here in my yard. Go ahead and put that straight in your food processor so you have it in there. You're also going to need to juice these lemons because you need the lemon juice. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start making the pesto. So to the lemon zest and lemon juice, I'm going to go ahead and add the toasted hazelnuts. And we're going to go ahead and get those ground up. Go ahead and add the broccoli. Go ahead and add the parsley as well. Okay, now I've gone ahead and I've taken that, what I've made so far, and put it in a bowl. To the food processor, I put in the mint leaves, the garlic, and the capers. I'm gonna go ahead and chop those up. Okay, granted I don't have a very big food processor and hopefully I'll have that rectified here soon. My birthday's coming up. But until then, what I did is I put all the ingredients that I had pretty much chopped up in my little food processor in, in, into a bowl. And now I'm just taking my wand, or my emulsion, and I'm going to just work it through so it's a very fine pan. Okay, now we've got the pesto portion of it made. The broccoli pesto. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a break, get the kitchen cleaned up a little bit, then we're going to get the uh, pasta made. Now that you've got the water going in a nice boil and it's still seasoned from the broccoli and the salt, we're going to go ahead and add the bow tie pasta. Stir it up. You want to cook it to the directions on the box, but typically it's a rolling, rolling boil for about 10 minutes. Now that the noodles have been boiling for 10 minutes, 
Time to go ahead and take them off the heat and drain the pasta. Put the hot noodles right back into the pan. We reserved a quarter cup of the cooking water. I forgot to tell you that ahead of time, but reserve a quarter cup of the cooking water. Put it right back in there. Take your pesto and start working it in and stirring it up into the noodles. Okay, so there you go. That's going to be your bow tie pasta with broccoli pesto. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you read the blog, and I hope you try this recipe, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.